In this video, we are going to learn about exterior angles in convex polygons. First, remember that a polygon is a shape with many sides. And to be convex means that if you take any two vertices on the polygon and connect them, that line will remain inside the polygon. An exterior angle is an angle on the outside of the polygon that is created by extending one of the sides of the polygon. So this would be an example of an exterior angle. Now there's an interesting property about exterior angles when you think about the sum of all the exterior angles added up. So that would be all of these angles added up. And there's always as many exterior angles as there are sides. So since this shape had five sides, it has five exterior angles. So the sum of exterior angles always is the same number. It's always 360 degrees for any polygon, no matter how many sides it has. Now, if the polygon is a regular polygon, meaning that all of the sides and all of the angles are congruent, we can actually figure out how many degrees each exterior angle is by just taking 360 and dividing by the number of sides, which is the same as the number of exterior angles. So for regular polygons with n sides, 360 divided by n will be one exterior angle. Because again, if all the angles add up to 360 and you want to figure out just one, and there are n of those same angles, you can divide 360 by n. So now we're going to talk about why is this true? Why is the sum of exterior angles equal to 360 degrees? In this picture, we have all the exterior angles highlighted. And in order to start, we're going to think about a couple of different things that we know. One thing that we know is that one interior angle plus one exterior angle will always equal 180 degrees. Why is that? Well, an exterior angle plus an interior angle, if you think about the corresponding pair of them, always will make a linear pair because they'll always be on a straight line. So every exterior angle has an interior angle partner and combined they will equal 180 degrees. That means if we think about all the interior angles and all the exterior angles together, the sum of all of them added up will be 180 times the number of sides. So I'm going to say let I equal all interior angles and let E equal all exterior angles. So what we know is that I, all the interior angles, plus E, all the exterior angles, has to equal 180 times the number of sides because that's how many pairs of interior and exterior angles there will be. Now we know something else. We know that the sum of the interior angles for any convex polygon is 180 times n minus 2. So i equals 180 times n minus 2. So if we substitute that in, we know 180 times n minus 2 plus e equals 180 times n. Now, I want to solve this equation for E in order to show you why the sum of the exterior angles, E, must equal 360. So if we keep simplifying, we get 180N minus 360 plus E equals 180N. Now, there's a 180N on both sides, so I'm going to subtract that off. And you'll see now that the ends have gone away completely, so the number of sides now is not relevant. And we have negative 360 plus E equals 0. So if we add 360 to both sides, we'll see that E, which was all the exterior angles put together, the sum of their 
degrees is 360. So that's a cool way to think about why the sum is 360. It's not just magic. It actually has a reason. And if you already know something about interior angles and how interior angles and exterior angles are related, it's going to help you to get that logic down.